Labrador, a rugged land whose shores have seen many different peoples. Labrador, a special land whose wilderness and beauty should be protected for all time. National Parks sees Canada as having 48 distinct natural regions and hopes to establish a park in each. Two of these regions are in Labrador. The creation of two new parks, one in the Mealy Mountains and one in the Torngat Mountains, would preserve examples of these regions for Labradorians and for all Canadians. On the east coast of southern Labrador, the Mealy Mountains rise to a height of 3,700 feet, and in the surrounding area, the landscape is a patchwork of wild rivers, waterfalls, bogs, lakes, and forests. This country, south of the Hamilton Inlet, is both varied and beautiful, and still undisturbed by man. The forces of nature have formed this land, its wildlife, and its vegetation. The cold Labrador current sweeps down from the Arctic, creating an area of tundra along the coasts with highlands, northern forests, and marshes inland. A small caribou herd lives here, calving and grazing in one part in the summer and migrating to another to spend the long, harsh winter. This is also the home of the moose, bear, lynx, bald eagles, and ospreys. Ptarmigan are common and easy to photograph. Off the coast, there are seals and whales and many other types of fish. The Eagle River one of the finest rivers in the world for Atlantic salmon cuts through the region. There is a rich cultural heritage here. The Nascopi, the Montagnier, and the Inuit have hunted and fished the area for thousands of years. The early Viking explorers visited these shores, and in recent centuries, the Europeans came to the coast and settled to make a living from the harsh land and the icy sea. A national park would explain this history and protect this rich and unique land, its animals, its mountains, its forests, marshes and hills. As you move north up the coast of Labrador, the country changes. The trees get smaller and smaller and finally disappear. Here, approaching the Arctic Circle, the towering cliffs of fjords sweep inland, cutting into a solid mass of mountains. These are the Torngats, with rock formations four billion years old, some of the oldest in the world. This is the land where the Inuit live. They have roamed the oceans and fjords, streams and valleys for thousands of years, hunting and fishing for their food, fuel, and clothing. The Inuit, with their unique way of life, adapted to this powerful land and still hunt and fish there today. 
Stone tent rings from early Inuit cultures stand on the land as reminders of a special part of Canada's history. Seals live in the sea, hunted by polar bears. Whales swim along the coast, and the high walls of the fjords play host to many kinds of birds, including the rare and endangered peregrine falcon. Caribou, wolves, foxes, arctic hares, and black bears roam the slopes and valleys while the rivers and streams teem with arctic char. Glaciers gouge these deep valleys and slash the mountain peaks. Some are still to be found high up in the Torngats today. The climate is harsh and dangerous, and this rugged country demands respect and a skill to survive. Few Canadians have experienced the grandeur of the Torngats, but those who do reach here will be well rewarded. Parks Canada wants to preserve this very special place for other Canadians to experience its beauty and its majesty. What does the future hold for the Torngats and the Mealy Mountains? If they become national parks, these two outstanding examples of Labrador will be conserved for all time. When a national park is created, its resources are preserved. Mining, forestry, hydroelectric development do not take place. People are already looking at the resources around the Mealies and the Torngats, and if development should take place, the natural beauty could be scarred forever. Instead, a national park would mean preservation, with opportunities for canoeing, camping, hiking and skiing being provided for visitors. Even these facilities would be limited to certain areas of the parks, and would blend into the natural setting of the area. These parks would provide new opportunities for recreation for the local residents as well as for visitors from outside. Local employment opportunities would be created. A number of permanent employees would be required to operate and maintain the parks and to provide visitor services and accommodation. These people would explain the natural and cultural history of the parks to those people fortunate enough to be able to visit the area. Other jobs would be made available through the development of these parks. The development of a park is often greeted with mixed feelings. It is our practice when considering new parks to include the needs and desires of the local people in the planning process. The planners would want to fully understand what use local people make of the areas now and work with them and the province to minimize conflicts and the impact of change. Labrador is special to Parks Canada as well as to the people of Labrador and Newfoundland. Its value to all Canadians and especially to local people is best expressed by Mrs. Elizabeth Gowdy of Happy Valley. I am very proud of my country, Labrador. The name goes very deep within my being. The beauty of its rivers and lakes and beautiful green forest and the hills and the great white Mealy Mountains. I look over the miles and miles of hillside untouched by man and I wonder how much longer are we going to be able to keep its beauty. The name Labrador 
for something hard to explain, but I would like to explain it in my own way, and that is peace, a deep peace within that helps to make all its hard work easier to take. Parks Canada is willing to play a role in helping to keep this peace for Labrador and Canada.